Welcome back. This is James Dewar, your host of the James Dewar Show and the Seven Steps to Financial Success. We got a tremendous interview going on right now. If you have kids in high school, we have a we've been talking about a free program, the Alamo Promise. We'll kind of touch on that real lightly before we get into the economic the engines that Alamo Colleges District provides for the San Antonio area. And I have a special passion for for uh, community colleges, as you know, it used to be a border region for a college. So I want to help you get the message out there to the community because there's no reason. And if, if people heard the last segment about us importing people to come work here and uh, we need to, to train our own, we need to, 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 to educate our, 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 our young kids and our older uh, grads. But we have an amazing, let's kind of touch base in case somebody missed our last segment. And you can always go back and, and learn about Alamo Promise, which is a tuition free program for Alamo colleges. But uh, we have Robert McKinley, he's a vice chancellor. Robert, welcome back and tell us just, let's talk a little bit about Alamo Promise before we get into the economic uh, driving, uh, the, the engine of uh, Alamo colleges here in San Antonio. Thank you, James, I'm glad to be here. And Alamo Promise was launched on uh, October 2nd and it is initiative by our uh, board of trustees, our chancellor, Mike Flores, to uh, overcome the financial barrier to getting your associate's degree in community college. So it is essentially a last dollar scholarship which means you apply for all your financial aid and say you get 70% or 80% covered, the Alamo Promise Scholarship will cover the residual 20 or 30% or whatever that percent happens to be. So your tuition and fees are covered. Uh, that takes away the big financial barrier. Uh, we know 80% of our students work. They're not slackers. They're not freeloaders. They work very hard. They have family commitments, and they have all the stresses that everybody else does as far as you know, living, uh, family, vehicles. So, but they're trying to get ahead. And that is important for them individually, but if you look at it on a macro level, we have a graduate about 12,000 kids a year. Uh, I say kids, some of them are adults that come back for retraining, but about 12,000 completions in degrees and certificates a year. That is the largest single injector of talent into the San Antonio market. We are a market of about 1.1 million in the labor force, and we grow about 2% a year, 20,000 new jobs a year on average. Alamo College is injecting 12,000 well, or 60%. So it's a huge so what would what would happen if we didn't have Alamo College? Oh wow, we we talked about importing teachers, healthcare, IT, and manufacturing. Stuff. We would have to import more. Uh, unemployment rate is at a historic low. If you talk to businesses and ask their pain point, their pain point is they have to go far and pay a premium to bring in talent from outside. And when we have individuals right here who can mm -hmm. fill that, we have the youth. We graduate about seventeen thousand. Uh, high school graduates a year. Another statistic, the market's very interesting. We have about 300,000 individuals in the market that have some college but no degree. Okay. And by just by going on to complete. Yeah. And that's not always a bad thing. I mean, I, I know sure. all the legislators out there and the government officials are always kind of, you know, looking at metrics and how many people do you graduate? But a lot of times you can go to community college, you can get a semester, you can get two semesters, and you got enough information. Mm -hmm. And you maybe do an internship at a, at a, at a firm, yes. and they hire you. That's right. And then they say, well, you know, you already know the basics. You don't need to go back and finish your degree. That's you right. know, now you always want to finish your degree, but a lot of people do that. And then community colleges get dinged because they didn't graduate that person. But that person is gainfully employed now at a higher income than they ever would have if they didn't take classes. So community colleges are so, so important and I'm so glad you're here. Let's talk about the economic development engines for San Antonio a little bit more in depth, other than just we're doing over 50% of all the jobs Alamo Colleges is supplying. There's uh, target industries and we work with the city, county, economic development foundation. So we look for high demand, high wage jobs. Yeah. And we try- I Like the high wage part. Yeah, that's right. And we really, obligate our students to pick a major that will actually have a job at the end, there you not go. just liberal arts and general studies. And so we have institutes okay. that are focused on clusters of high demand, high wage jobs, such as healthcare, bioscience, science, technology, business entrepreneurship, advanced manufacturing, uh, communication arts, and public service. And so everything from police, you know, EMT, fire, 
then in the trades, construction trades, there's a huge demand now, very tight labor market for whether you're electrician, plumbing, HVAC, uh, you, all you know the what disciplines. You're, after you graduate from community college and you, you got electrical uh, certification, or mm -hmm. you know, or construction of whatever, you know, plumbing or whatever, you know what your title is in five years? Employed and gainfully employed. Gainfully, a lot of times, <laughs> you're the boss. That's right. I mean, there's you such a demand. The if that's you're right. good, you have a good training from Alamo College, well, that's right. and you've worked for five years, a lot of times you could even start out your own company because yeah. it's uh, that's how much in demand trades are yeah. now. So we shared with you the 12,000 completions, but even more importantly, uh, with this tight labor market, basically the gross domestic product or the output of San Antonio is lagging the state right now. The state is growing at 2.7% overall economic output. San Antonio only 1.7%. We are a full point behind. And this comes from the Dallas Federal Reserve and uh, their, their economist. The reason is we don't have enough trained talent. Yeah. So again, the businesses could sell more and produce more, but they don't have this talent. Do you know what the opportunity cost of that is? Tremendous. Our GDP gross output of San Antonio is $130 billion a year. When we shave 1% off, because we don't have trained people, the cost of lost business is $1.3 billion of lost business in this community. And we don't need so that. where do we need to invest? And we talked about the Promise Program. Uh, many uh, uh, in the public are asking, well, this is a great idea, we support it, what does it cost? It's incredibly good investment, even if uh, the f we've done financial projections as you do in business at almost the, the worst case scenario, the highest take rate. If 70% of the 17,000 high school graduates per year uh, took us up on this and we had to pay the gap, we're talking about $14 million a year would be the extra cost right. for the last mile scholarships. That sounds like a lot of money, but the opportunity of not having this trained labor is $1.3 billion right. of lost business growth. It just, so it just, makes, it just makes economic sense. That's why I've huge. always been a proponent, even though I've told you before I'm physically conservative, but for Pell Grants, I mean, you want to bring, you want to make sure people have the opportunity to get educated to get that job and That's you don't right. get that in that in high school you don't get to the point that you're going to be hired with the skills you need the advanced training for like only community college That's can offer. Right. and it's a competitive world uh believe me you know houston dallas austin everybody else across the country they're going to the knowledge economy that means by 2030 two-thirds of our workforce is going to have to have some kind of uh, additional education beyond high school you know where we are in san antonio right now mm, nowhere only 45% even try to go to college and only 33% graduate. You're talking so, about community colleges, all, any level of college. college. That's so we, we are halfway, we're supposed to be two thirds with a post high school credential and we're only one third. Okay. We have a huge gap. And so we're not even just talking about the individuals that go through school. This is going to affect everybody in San Antonio, how competitiveness, how competitive we are and how much we grow or do not grow in this global marketplace. Okay. So we need we need our listening uh, public to, to help us get this word out about Alamo Promise. It's a tuition free program. I, I applaud Mike Flores and, and, the, and the board for sticking their neck out and saying, hey, we need to support this. We need to make sure we did 100% tuition. So there's no excuse for not going to college because uh, it's good for our community. We, we, we need to educate. We need people who, are, who, who have that sense of worth that, that go to work every day and they're doing a, a job, whether it's in nursing or IT or public service or, or uh, manufacturing construction trades. We need people to have that sense of purpose and they need education for that. They need to be where a, a company can feel comfortable hiring them on and we need to bridge that gap and we need to make San Antonio the you know model of a Texas city exactly not lagging behind not the other, lagging. other so I applaud the the uh, the Board of Regents uh, I don't know how they call them board trustees. Of Regents. Trustees. trustees I applaud the trustees is a hard job and Mike Flores and and for your work that you do uh, so again we have Robert McKinley at Alamo uh, Colleges District we're talking about how you can get free college okay listen to me free F-R-E-E, -E, zero dollars. Just go to Alamo, uh, alamo.edu forward slash promise, alamo.edu forward slash promise, and get the word out for your kids and for your neighbor's kids. Take, take a, 
take control of the community. Let let people know about these resources and how it's important to, to get a community college degree. Because then, and you know, a lot of people get a community college degree and they say, well, I'm just going to get a certificate. And then they end up getting a four-year degree. Yeah, they can stack and go, go on. A couple things I want to emphasize. One is the Alamo Colleges District was uh, recognized by the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award for Performance Excellence. And we are the only community college in the whole United States that had such a designation. That came from the manufacturing field of quality assurance. What that means is we are continuously improving. We have the tools to just innovate and get better all the time. So number one, that puts us in a position to take on this bold challenge to do that. The other one emphasizes this truly is a community partnership. And uh, if you want to apply a business term to this, we would call it a regional integrated talent supply chain. There you go. So just think about that. That means all our upstream suppliers, if you will, are all the public education from the pre-K for SA up through all the ISD and all the talent flows through that and then it is eligible to come on into community college and whereas we have 63,000 students enrolled and we are graduating the 12,000 a year out of that about 5,000 of those go on to UTSA to Texas A&M yeah. San Antonio to the and lake San Antonio uh, youth uh, San Antonio A&M Yes. is the second largest institution for the in the A and M system. That's right. So, so that's a fight Texas Aggie. I'm I'm we're, proud of that. We're feeding that, and our transfer students graduated at a very high rate, about two thirds, much higher than the normal. Wow. Because okay. they're well prepared. So, and uh, of, of course. Alamo Promise is an educational program. We want to close those gaps in terms of educational attainment, but it is also a workforce economic development yeah, that's initiative. Why, that's why companies yeah. come to San Antonio, because they have the workforce. And the other key aspect, and this goes to our values, it is an anti-poverty program because we're right. really bringing, the segment that we're bringing in at Alamo's Promise is folks that never even dreamed of going to college. Mm -hmm. It doesn't compete. It doesn't take students away from UTSA or other colleges. It brings a new segment, which is exactly what we want. So really, we are education, economic workforce development, and anti-poverty all rolled into okay. one. Can't, can't get any better. So thank you so much, Robert McKinley. Uh, uh, Vice Chancellor Alamo College, and I hope to have you on again soon. Look forward to it. Thank you, Jan. Thank you.